So I was looking at the release notes for SoundSource, which is a piece of software that Rogue Amoeba makes, and it's great. It lets you control the volume on if you've got like an external set of like an external audio device on your Mac that doesn't uh, have like let your Mac do volume control. It'll do that. It'll let you send the audio from one app to a certain output device and another app to another output device. It makes life. It's great. Like once you once you start using it, especially if you have multiple audio devices, it just becomes second nature and it's great. I was looking at the release notes and they mentioned that they added support for the AU sound isolation plugin. Now I know that AU means an audio units plugin. And uh, when it starts with AU, that generally means that it is an Apple provided plugin. And indeed AU sound isolation is a plugin that is included with Ventura and it does some magic stuff. It, will it is built for voice the, it, it, the way it's set up you it, it, they might be able to add or they might add other things in the future but currently it is built to take your voice and isolate it from background noise and so i tried it with a really good mic that i have down in my office and it was like oh that's actually pretty good there was like a guy mowing the lawn out, you know outside and it was able to cut that out and i thought wait a minute let me try it with my crappy webcam and uh, because those microphones are awful and they pick up all the bounciness of the room, plus every sound in the background and all of that good stuff. And I made a little recording. So, uh, But I'm on my webcam mic, which is awful. Picks up all the room. And I'm sure you're hearing that weed whacker or leaf blower or whatever it is outside, right? Let's turn this off and see what happens. He doesn't even, ha even have that thing fired up, but uh, actually he does. There he is. He's going nuts with it. Can you hear it? Hmm. It's right next to my office. Let's. Let's turn AU sound isolation off. So now it's just idling out there, but I bet it's louder than it was before when he had it fired up. Let's try it again with this uh, with this back turned on. I think this is a pretty cool little plugin. Nice for Apple to include it. I like that. It's eye-watering how good that is. And 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 there are like you. Uh, this is on its default settings. Yeah. You just set it and forget it, and just use it. Uh, if I was on Ventura here, I would have this in my workflow for the podcast feed. I'm not because for all the reasons we've discussed, but it did remind me that Isotopes RX uh, has a similar plugin. And so I, I, I do have that now in the flow here. I don't have it turned on today. They've got a, a plugin as part of RX called Voice D Noise. Now, of course, you have to pay for that, but. Um, but it does, it, it does kind of the same thing. And so if, you know, if like Pete, if you're in a hotel room ever where there's like noises or whatever, I can just kick that in.